Hey, what's good, YouTube? Mike here, and this is Pro Guitarist Reacts, and uh, we're jumping right into another Chris Webby jam. Um, I checked out his song. He did a collab with Ren. The song was called Baggage. You can check out uh, my reaction to that song. Look in the uh, comments. The pinned comment is uh, from Mr. Webby himself. He's a good man, good artist, and uh, so subscribe to uh, Chris Webby. And uh, I'm going to jump into this. This is a, a song called Raw Thoughts. And it looks like there is like a whole series. Uh, I, I saw as many as maybe six or seven. So it's a multi-part kind of thing. We're just going to jump in at the first one because I don't want to miss anything. And uh, you can click like and subscribe if you uh, dig what's going on around here. And if not, then uh, whatever. All right, let's jump in. Okay. Yeah. When be it? Yeah. Let me talk a little shit, man. Talk some shit, man. Hey. Ahem. Bitch, you. All right, before he even starts, for those of you who are coming to this from the, because uh, I, I knew Ren before I knew Chris Webby. That's what led me to that collab video. Um, this is giving me love music vibes a little bit as far as uh, if, you, if you're if you familiar with Ren's uh, love music series. Three parts, I think, total. But that uh, backing track gives me this similar type vibes. Yeah, when be it? Yeah, yeah. Let me talk a little shit, man. Talk some shit, man. Hey, man. <clears throat> bitch, you dumb, but least the cracking. I'm up on Mount Olympus while I'm rapping. So when the lightning strikes and waters turn and thunders crashing, and them twisters touching down like that movie with Bill Paxton, it's me up in my studio. That's what's making it happen. Never doubt me. Got a suit of armor, big as Gronkowski, and a sword that's even bigger, killing everyone around me. Swinging like Tasmanian devil until I'm drowsy. Then I pop another Addy and blast off like Robert Downey. Like Iron Man, the kind of man that knows no one can beat me. The kind of man that's destined to be king, just ask Rafiki. The kind of man to step into the ring just like Rakishi. And make you kiss my ass on broadcast national TV. Lay the smack down on... <laughs> Good God. Okay. I love his flow. And uh, obviously he's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> Yeah, let's roll it back a little bit. I like the uh, the wrestler's uh, ass in his face. That was a very classy move. Blast off like Robert Downey, like Iron Man, the kind of man that knows no one can beat me. The kind of man that's destined to be king, just ask Rafiki. The kind of man to step into the ring, just like Rakishi. And make you kiss my ass on broadcast national TV. Lay the smack down on all these whack clowns in the circus that used to be referred to as the fucking rap circuit. I'll wrap circles around these cats without scratching the surface. And make these mumble rappers step back and start acting nervous. And if they aren't nervous, then they don't know what I'm saying. Maybe they can't understand it with that first grade education. Maybe they too fucking high up cough suppressant medication as they wearing skirts with a matching purse while they putting braids in. But that shit is just a fad and see I'm here to help to phase them all the fucking way out. I don't know if that was the uh, diss at anyone in particular or just uh, the genre of mumble rap in general. Was there any backlash from this? If you guys know, let me Throw that down in the comments if uh, anyone took this as a diss, or maybe it's not, maybe it's just a generic diss. Fucking high up cough suppressant medication as they wearing skirts with a matching purse while they putting braids in. It looked like there was somebody specifically being cited there. I don't know who that is. A cough suppressant medication as they wearing skirts with a matching purse while they putting braids in. But that shit is just a fad and see I'm here to help to phase them all the fucking way out so real rappers can replace them. I'll take this shit upon myself, the fans deserve better. 
better than some kid who lacks intelligence and puts in zero effort. I mean, this shit is a job, right? And see, these kids ain't even trying, son. If you ran a business and they work for you, you would fire them. So why you praising them for half-assing the shit you listen to? Not dissing you, I'm just asking what the fuck has gotten into you? So you're the consumer, and it's your choice on what you're picking to. Put up in your Spotify and spend your time sifting through. And you're just giving yeah. bread to somebody who's way more rich than you, who can barely put together an English sentence in an interview. See, I'm a hooligan. Hey, he throws, uh, he's thrown down a few facts for sure. More rich than you, who can barely put together an English sentence in an interview. See, I'm a hooligan who be truly losing his cool again. Who's here to use his voice to bring the truth till I get through to them. They feed us fake news again. Nobody wanna listen. It's no fault of ours, me. See, I blame the politicians. Fuck Donald, fuck Ivanka, not for real. I fuck her brains out. Gotta ride me up in the oval on the same couch. Billy Clinton from the cushions trying to wipe the stains out. Cause Monica just couldn't swallow what was in a dang mouth. <laughs> oh my goodness all right it's like that it's like that for real <laughs> oh my god i love it i love it it's too funny i got no love for politicians though have at her have at her on the same couch Billy Clinton from the cushions trying to wipe the stains out cuz Monica could just couldn't swallow what was in a dang mouth I'm fucking wild and fucking while I'm on that shit again slapping Rex Tillerson for trying to let him drill again light his oil money on fire like every bill and then they'll put me on a list cuz see you know them bitches listening in Jeff Sessions you could suck a dick until your throat hurts you old smurf trying to take my weed never gonna work I'll be lighting up a doobie out on your turf and Kid Rock, you ain't been cool since Joe Dirt. I'm out on Scott Pruitt's property, fracking it, and build a pipeline through his wooden kitchen cabinets. These scummy politics. There we go. We got a full on diss against Kid Rock. I don't know. That probably didn't play out. Or did it? Did Kid Rock ever react to that? And Kid Rock, you ain't been cool since Joe Dirt. I'm out on Scott Pruitt's property, fracking it, and build a pipeline through his wooden kitchen cabinets. These scummy politicians, yo, I've had it, bitch. I'ma take a knee with Colin Kaepernick yelling, fuck the establishment. And Ted Cruz, your face yeah. puts me in a shitty mood. There's so much bitch in you that you probably have a Clinton boots. And Marco Rubio, you're soft as fuck. And Ben Carson, uh, yo, can someone wake Ben Carson up? Fuck these Nazis in the white nation. <laughs> That guy does look like he's asleep all the time. <laughs> can someone wake Ben Carson up? I don't think someone can. I'm pretty sure someone would have tried already. You probably have a Clinton boots. And Marco Rubio, you're soft as fuck. And Ben Carson, uh, yo, can someone wake Ben Carson up? Fuck these Nazis in the white nationalist. I'll grab that Costco tiki torch and fucking smack you with it. Over and over <laughs> till your skull fragments are cracking and shit. Why the cops give him a slap on the wrist? For real though. But yo, Hillary, really? You think that I wouldn't mention you? Just cause I tend to be liberal with all my general views? But you're an evil lady, say it cause I got to. I'm down to have a woman president, just not, not you. you. you clear <laughs> I saw that coming. Just not you. I am down with that. I tend to be liberal with all my general views, but you're an evil lady, say it cause I got to. I'm down to have a woman president, just not you. You Claire Underwood ass bitch, you wicked witch, flying through your fucking teeth every single chance that you get. I'm a slap a Oh, I like that he made a little comparison to, uh, uh, what was that, House of Cards. You wicked witch, flying through your fucking teeth every single chance that you get. I'ma slap her so hard that she'll be leaving in a gurney while I'm yelling now, long live Bernie. Now with that segment yeah. just defended you, then please. Okay, I think I like Chris Webby. I, I don't think I've ever, I, I've given like maybe some slight inklings to my uh, political leanings here on my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make some changes here. I'm trying to just be more open and if i lose fans uh whatever you know but yeah bernie bernie's the only one he's the only one you could trust he doesn't take money he's not beholden and that is the key whether you like what he stands for you know maybe you call him a marxist or whatever he doesn't take money he's not beholden 
That's got to be the bar. They're not beholden. That's the bar. Bernie, while I'm yelling now, long live Bernie. Bernie. Now if that segment just defended you, then... Here, we got to get that whole setup to Bernie. Bernie deserves that respect. Just not you, you Claire Underwood ass bitch. You wicked witch. Claire Underwood. You fucking teeth every single chance that you get. I'm a slap her so hard that she'll be leaving in a gurney while I'm yelling now, long live Bernie. Bernie. Now, if that segment just defended you, then please relax. We're all on the same side. It ain't about white or black. It's about the one percenters versus everybody else. Us against the politicians who only helping themselves. Yo, fuck it. I guess I'm just a rapper. What do I know? Oh, man about the world how it turns and who's behind those plans but still i'm all up in this bitch just like a guy knows hands and while i'm here i'm gonna take a stand raw thoughts fuck everybody man as much as i joke around about things you know this shit is dead serious fuck where this country is headed you know who did i not mention oh yeah mike pence see i forgot to slay you but really god hates you along with every gay dude and lesbian <laughs> It's very evident that you. you're a scum sucking bitch vice president. Who else? Oh, Paul Ryan? <laughs> Shit. I like the, uh, what do you call those? The uh, ad libs behind. <laughs> it's like, look at the. Along with every gay dude and lesbian, it's very evident that you're a scum sucking bitch vice president. Who else? Oh. You hear it right there? Suck it. I don't want to say it myself, it just for fear of a video getting, I don't know what. YouTube, it be funny sometimes. Then, that you. you're a scum sucking bitch vice president. Suck a dick. Who else? Oh, Paul Ryan? Oh. Shit, I hope you go rock climbing and your hand slips and you lose grip and you fall diving onto a bunch of fucking dicks. You fucking bitch. Fucking I bitch. hope your health insurance doesn't cover it. Who else? <laughs> I'll crack a Coke, brother, like I crack a Coke can. Cremate a Coke, brother, and I'll snort them out my hands. What, bitch? Hell yeah. Raw thoughts. <laughs> These are my raw thoughts, my fucker. This mess. I love this guy. He hates everybody I hate. This is awesome. Chris, if you were... Uh, if you watch this one, I'm a guitar player. I'm pretty good. I did some stuff back in the day. I would love to collab with you. Uh, I can rock out. I can funk out. Everything works in hip hop. So yeah, let's make something work. Or if not, no pressure, no pressure. I will react to your stuff regardless. I dig your vibe. All right, let's watch this to the end. Brother, and I'll snort them out my hands. What hate bitch? the Coke brothers? Raw thoughts. <laughs> These are my raw thoughts, my fucker. This message has been bought, paid for, and forced upon you by George Soros and the fake news networks of America. Hell yeah, that's true. George Soros <laughs> is behind thoughts, everything. <laughs> Listen, you could pay for a streaming. Hey. That was spectacular. That was truly awesome. My God. I don't think I've ever heard music that more, that I, I related to more. That was every, every line was like, a, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that too. I think I agreed with the whole song. And I just dug the vibe. I dug the way the words flowed. The rhyme schemes. I even caught a couple. Which one did I call? Oh, yeah, the Not You. The Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that was a great bar. Captured. Uh, when was this? This was like, um, I think about six years back. So this was, what, post uh, the 2016 election? Just judging by all the characters he was naming, uh, I would say this would be maybe uh, in the 2015 to 2017 er era. Just because that uh, six years ago. So that would have been, uh, yeah, 2018. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, those, a lot of those players were still around. Some of them aren't even in the game anymore. Like Paul Ryan, where's he? You don't hear about him no more. One of the Koch brothers died. So there you go. All right. Well, hit like and subscribe if you dig the vibe. Go Chris. Uh, check out some more Chris Webby. And then let me know which ones to react to. Okay? Like and subscribe to Chris Webby. Like and subscribe to me. And uh, let's do this thing. All right. We're having fun. I need my mouse so that I could say. Drop a yo in the comments if you're still here. Peace out. Bye.